Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for ten and a half years, going twelve in February, and today I'd like to share Psalm 37 verses 21 to 29. Here's God's word. The saints are preserved forever. The wicked borrows but does not pay back, but the righteous is generous and gives. For those blessed by the Lord shall inherit the land, but those cursed by him shall be cut off. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord upholds his hand. I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. He is ever lending generously and his children become a blessing. Turn away from evil and do good, so shall you dwell forever. For the Lord loves justice, he will not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell upon it forever. Psalm 37, 21 to 29. And here's the poem I wrote inspired by this psalm. The saints are preserved forever. The ungodly does things but are not responsible and accountable. Those who are righteous on the other hand are giving and generous. All the path that the godly takes are guided by God's laws. The Lord never forsakes those who are faithful to his ways. He requires his people to turn away from evil and do good. He is always there for those who are devoted and righteous. The Lord is steadfast in his love. He is never changing. He is the source of all that is everlasting and never ending. The Lord loves justice and makes sure that the oppressed are freed. He preserves the saints and will never let anything happen to them. The righteous will inherit the land and live on it till the end of time. But all those who are wicked will be cut off from life eternal. Reflection What are the promises to the faithful in these psalms? And how are the wicked and unrighteous going to end up according to this psalm? Well, it, it shows you in verse 22 that those who are righteous are usually generous and gives, and so the Lord will give them and inherit the land that he promised. And those who are cursed will on their other hand be cut off in verse 22. And then in verse 23, the Lord promised that, uh, that he will establish the steps of those whom he delight on. So that means that when you follow God's way, you will be established. You will have a strong foundation. And even though you fall, that's in the next verse in 24, you will not be left on your own because he will always hold your hand and uphold you in his righteousness. And in verse 25, it says that the righteous will never go hungry and forsaken. And then in, in, in verse 26, he becomes a blessing to others. So those are the promises. And then um, he will never forsake his saints, as he says in verse 28. And in verse uh, 29, they will be preserved forever, but the wicked will be cut off. And the righteous will inherit all the land that the Lord promised, and they will dwell on it. So those are very, very uh, good promises to reflect on and meditate on because it shows you how much uh, assurance you can get from knowing that you are serving the Lord and that you are 
uh, hit a saint to him and that you belong to him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Uh, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.